who's thrown uh, a spanner into the uh, or created excitement. A life by, by a life stand. We be we'll be back uh, after an ad break. This is the Pelin Errol Taylor show. Oh, I just did an announcement to say we're not going to go to break until the, the half half past the hour. Yeah. Uh, do, do you think that? Um, uh, well, no, so Nigel uh, may or may not take over the the Tory party, but he said he did say I, I don't track it that closely that you know he doesn't want to merge or to, he wants to displace the Tory party. Do you think is he really a Tory or what is his relationship with the Tory party sort of emotionally and technically? I mean, would would many Tories, although they've got the gun to their head now and they might accept it, don't they feel that the Tory identity is somewhat different from Nigel Farage's? identity well, just like the rhinos in america and they a lot of them hate trump you know well i mean you've asked a lot of questions in that but i mean let me try to answer them all at once if i can um i, I mean no nigel is not your typical shires tory um i think he probably feels rejection by them um i, I mean, he certainly feels those who don't want him but you know this is politics and they're in dire position they're in no position to dictate their rather patrician views of people's value at this point <laughs> uh, they mm. need to be pragmatic and nigel is the guy who can save them uh, and uh, frankly <clears throat> um you know i just think that i just think that it's it's very important that they seriously consider doing a deal with him and not a deal where you know we'll let you join us and run alongside us because if you do a deal with nigel uh you're going to be running alongside him mate and and that's what they should do because frankly he's really the only personality in the country that could bring the tory party back to any kind of popularity because they have just botched so many things over 14 years and put their foot in their mouth every half hour for most of that 14 years it's just an embarrassment between the sex scandals and the COVID and the one thing after, you know, Nigel can do them some good and they need to recognize that he needs to put his feelings aside of, 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 of how he feels about the past with them, uh, as do they. And it, it's very simple. If they don't do that, um, let me say they are very stupid. But uh, have you worked out? Um uh, have thought as far as that the mechanics of this would he stand down candidates would there be a uh would they just make a deal that in some seats my people will stand but we'll call them tories and in other seats your people will stand and would he be uh would, would you think um nigel's party would have a separate identity or would it be a like a complete merger of identities i mean no, these are things would... perhaps yeah no uh, it would be nigel's party i mean he shouldn't do it okay. on any other terms uh, right. trying to work with those people who've ruined everything is mm. just going to give him argument and aggro that he doesn't need they need to effectively step aside make nice <laughs> and 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 let nigel and reform dictate the way forward it's not a question of stepping aside in seats as he did last time to give it to them uh, it's a question of reform putting their candidates in the seats they want them in and deciding which seats Tory candidates can be in and right. anything less than that is probably not worth his doing and in would Farage words, call him call, call himself the leader of a pr prospective coalition or would he yeah, display in, Sunak in other words yes I'm sorry to talk over you no, no, what I'm yeah. saying what I'm saying is that unlike last time I mean there's two ways this can go uh, they can be all fussy and impose these kind of restrictions which will probably make and if i were nigel should make nigel walk away do as much damage as he possibly can in order to uh win the next election after this one at which was their plan if on the other hand they're sensible and reasonable they'll do a deal and let nigel and reform run most things now and yeah. save themselves you know five years of misery from labor Right. 